Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Happy Sunday. I wanted to film for you guys today because it's going to be a different Sunday than usual. Instead of my typical Sunday reset or Sunday routine and a very relaxing, chill Sunday night, we're having a Sunday fun day today because it's a Super Bowl. So my friends and I have plans tonight and then around like three or four, I'm heading over to my friend Anna's apartment. All of our friends are having like a little pregame and stuff. So that'll be really fun but I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along. Just have a little balance because tomorrow I'll have a productive Monday. Today will be the Sunday fun day, so a little bit of best of both worlds. Before all of that, I would like to get a few things done around my apartment just to feel a little bit of a reset. So that's the plan for today. I'm gonna finish up my greens this morning. We gotta prioritize, take care of our wellness. I'm gonna have my coffee in a little bit because I've been having my coffee a little bit later in my morning, which although it is such a small change, I'm telling you, it has made the biggest difference in my routine and just like my day-to-day -day mental. I feel like I feel, that was a lot of feel. <laughs> I definitely notice that I feel very calm and just less stressed throughout my day and not as anxious and, you know, zipping around doing one thing after another and multitasking and just overwhelming myself because having caffeine on an empty stomach first thing when you wake up in the morning is one of the worst things that you can do because it spikes your cortisol levels and it just really starts your day off on like a high stress note. And I hated that feeling. And I was listening to a podcast and they were talking all about the importance of having something in your stomach before you have any sort of caffeine. So some mornings I won't even have my coffee and I'll just have pre-workout. And I don't even like crave having my coffee in the morning. And that says a lot because I, you guys know, I like always woke up in the morning and instantly made my coffee. And it was like the thing that I always looked forward to and got me up out of bed in the morning. But now I'll just have my greens. I'll have a little bit of water. I'll take my vitamins. And then to get something in my stomach before my workout and before I have like any um, caffeine, I take these gem vitamins. They're daily multivitamins and they are packed, you guys, with so many different nutrients and different vitamins that your body needs. There's like 20 plus different vitamins and nutrients in here. There's pre and probiotics, which we know I love. I'm a freak about gut health and I love these because I don't like gummies and if you don't like taking um, vitamins in pill form, these would also be a great alternative because like I said, they're just packed with so many different quality ingredients. You have turmeric for gut and skin health, ginger and spices for brain and skin health, B vitamins, vitamin K2, like I said, pre and probiotics for all of that gut health. My mom actually put me onto these. So I started taking them about two weeks ago and I fell in love. So I'll just have them in the morning before my coffee. And I really wanted to share them with you guys. And of course, before I even share any vitamins or supplements with you guys, because that's something I'm so cautious of sharing, I like to test them out and try them myself. And I do my research and everything on them. And what I love about this brand is that it's science-backed. They have a very holistic approach to health, which I really appreciate. And I just feel very comfortable and confident putting um, these little bites into my body because they're, like I said, science-backed, sourced with quality ingredients, and just packed with so many vitamins and nutrients that your body just doesn't get from regular foods. There are these little bites that look like this. They're like super bright orange, but I love the texture of them because they remind me of like a protein bar. And if you do not like to take any gummies or like um, pill vitamins. Again, this is a great alternative. I've loved incorporating this into my routine. And also you guys might as well give it a try because you can get 50% off your first time using gem. I'll leave it linked down below, but you can head over to dailygem.com slash Lauren Snyder, and that will get you 50% off your first month using gem. Or you can just head over to their website, enter the code at Lauren Snyder at checkout, and you'll get that discount. But I'm going to get a couple things done around my apartment and then we'll head down to the gym. Getting to the gym on Sunday takes a whole nother level of motivation. But for me, my week typically starts on a Sunday. Like in my head, I'm prepping for the week. I'm getting everything all situated. So I like to think of Sundays as my Mondays. But I'm gonna grab a workout set. I think I'm gonna do these brown leggings and then a matching sports bra. We're ready to go. Workout set is from Lulu. Sneakers are the new balance fuel cells. So comfortable. These literally feel like clouds every single time I wear them. I'm a freak about my sneakers, you guys know. So I got these on Amazon a couple weeks ago and I've been loving them for my runs. 
And yeah, we're gonna do 30 minutes on the tread. 30 minutes and then maybe I'll do 40. It depends, honestly. I just kind of like set myself a distance or like a duration for how long I wanna run. And then I do a check-in at that time when, once it's up. So like if I wanna run for 20 minutes that day or 30, I just check in with like how my body's feeling. And then once time's up, I'm like, okay, could I go for another 10 minutes or could I go for another mile? How am I kind of feeling in that moment? I think that's the best way to get yourself into running or get yourself into honestly like working out in general if it's something you um, are wanting to make a routine in your lifestyle because to tell yourself I'm gonna go for an hour long run like that's just not realistic for me like sure one day I could work up to that point but starting small and just having like little incremental um, changes every single time is what's gonna make the bigger difference and I always say like 1% better every day so if I ran 20 minutes last week, maybe I could run 25 minutes this week or vice versa. You know what I mean? So really focus on just improving little by little because before you know it, it'll be a huge grand difference. And that's also with like waking up early in the morning. You aren't just going to go from waking up around 8 a.m. to waking up at 5 a.m. the next day. Like small increments can make the biggest difference and 1% better every day, you guys. I'm telling you. Anyways, that's always my mindset when it comes to working out or just like fitness goals or even lifestyle goals in general. I try to do small little things that can improve my life instead of making all of these big, huge changes or big um, habits that maybe I don't need right now. So anyways, that's how I keep myself from feeling overwhelmed or like burnt out from a routine or like a healthy lifestyle and everything. So I'm going to put on some YouTube. I usually listen to YouTube or listen to YouTube, watch YouTube or listen to a podcast while I'm running just because it makes it go by so much faster. And I think today I'm just going to do a 30 minute run and then the Stairmaster. So for my hair, I decided to just air wrap the bottom half and then the top half I just normal curled because I'm still trying to get a hang of how to curl using my shark. That's the hard part. I know it definitely takes quite a while to do. I've got the blowout part down, but in terms of curling it, it definitely takes a minute. So anyways, today was not the day to have a bad hair day. So I figured we're going to go back to square one, use my regular curling iron and I got kind of carried away. FaceTiming my mom. So we're in a little bit of a crunch time, um, but I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. Little Sunday fun day. Also, it's 80 degrees out. So the weather is absolutely perfect. I think I'm gonna wear something that I actually wore a couple weekends ago when my friends and I went to watch the playoff games. It's just like a red skims bodysuit and I might wear shorts. I have a really cute denim jacket to wear over top if I wanna like literally mimic the same exact look I was wearing a couple weekends ago. My face is definitely a lot paler than my body right now because I self-tanned the other day, which is good because I was feeling pale as a ghost and I laid out yesterday, which felt so nice and my skin was like craving the sun. I got so sunburned, not so sunburned, but I took off my swimsuit and when I got out of the shower, I was like, oh my gosh, I did get a little bit of color. That's the best feeling, like the post beach or post pool shower and you actually get to see the color that you got from the day. Anyways, I'm just gonna do my typical makeup routine. Nothing crazy, but my skin has been so dry recently because I feel like the weather has been so random. There'll be days where it's so freaking cold and then other days where it's like today, like 80 degrees out. So my skin has been going randomly through a whirlwind, different climates. Also, if you guys have any good foundation recs, please let me know because I feel like I need something that can help cover my acne scars a little bit because that's probably like my biggest, not like insecurity, but the biggest problem area on my skin right now. I'm just going to use this foundation, but it's a little too orangey right now for my skin. It's the Superstay 24-hour skin tint. I guess I could try to put it on. I don't know. That might be risky. For 
for the lip combo today, I'm actually gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I haven't used this in forever, just because I hate how you have to sharpen it, and it like scratches my lips every time I use it, but it's still really pretty. And then for the actual lipstick, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Mauve um, in the shade 140. This is like my current favorite right now, it's so pretty. Like, it literally makes my lips pop, it's so pretty. So, I'm gonna pack these in my purse. Honestly, I might bring a different one because, yeah, I'm gonna bring, no, not this one. Maybe it's already in my purse. I think it might already be in my purse, but I always use the, uh, you guys know the drill, the Sephora, what's it called, Creme de la Creme, that's like my go-to. It must be in my purse because I cannot find it anywhere. But, I'm gonna put on some lip gloss because I need to tone it down a little bit. This is really good, we're gonna use the Summer Fridays. I have yet to try the Summer Fridays lip oil. I bought it at Sephora a couple weeks ago and I haven't really used it yet. Woo, it's giving pink, pink, but you know what, that's okay. We gotta stand out, stand out from the crowd. Okay, hair is done. Oh shoot, that kinda left a dent. There we go. Okay, full look is done. Now we gotta figure out the outfit, put on the jewelry, and we'll be ready to go. This is the final look. I love how this outfit came together. It's giving Canadian tuxedo, but in the best way, okay? This red bodysuit is from Skims. These Fits Everybody bodysuits are the absolute best. So cute. I always wear um, these like nippy skins, I think they're called. I get them on Amazon, I'll link them down below, but anytime I wear bodysuits or white or nude color tops, I never wear bras with them. And I just wear these little nipple covers and you can't even tell, they're so nice. And then over top, this is from LF. It's such a cute denim jacket. It's definitely quite a staple. And then belt is from Princess Polly. Shorts are from Zara. I'm wearing this black bag from Salma because I just want like a shoulder bag slash crossbody bag, so I'm gonna wear this one. Then for my shoes, I was thinking of either my white Reeboks or these Dunks. I think I'm gonna go with the Dunks just because it ties in well with the purse and the belt, the black, because these ones are cute, but I think they're giving too much white, like, a little too obnoxious if I wear these. So I think the dunks might be the move. Also you guys, I haven't worn shorts in forever, so my legs are feeling a little bit pasty, like a little pale, but you know what? It's whatever. So that's the final fit. I'm gonna clean up a little bit more of my apartment. We'll pack my purse and then I don't know. Here, I packed my purse, you guys. I have all the lip products. I opened up this bag and was like, that's exactly where my lip liner went. This is the one I was talking about, the Sephora Creme de la Creme. I'm just gonna bring, honestly, all these. The funny thing is, I always pack them and then I rarely ever end up touching up my lips, but it's just a comfort thing, you know? Got the wallet, got my keys, and then my sunnies. I'm probably just gonna wear these on my head, honestly. I have no idea how long <laughs> keeping my hair in this clip is gonna last. I feel like these are kind of cute from Amazon and we are ready to go. I'm gonna throw on the shoes and we will head on out of here. Guys, I've been hosting a lot recently. We love it, I, I know. Era. She is in her hosting era. But I love it, it's fun. Happy Monday, you guys. My coffee and my ice roller single-handedly saving me this morning. Um, it ended up not even being a late night last night. I got home around like 10.30, left after halftime. It was so much fun. I'm so happy that we had a little Sunday fun day yesterday, but I feel like this morning, since I woke up around 6.30, I'm like extra tired. So I laid in bed until around like eight, and then I finally got up. Honestly, I gotta say the halftime performance Usher, I, not that I had high expectations or high hopes, but I just thought it would be a little bit more, you know? Like, don't get me wrong, I love Usher. I will always get down when an Usher song comes on, like, he's got some bangers, okay? But 
nothing will ever top um, Rihanna's performance last year. She just really set the bar high, okay? Um, and I really didn't even pay attention to the game, if at all any. <laughs> that was just a little social butterfly yesterday, but so much fun. Um, in terms of today, I have quite a bit of work to get done because I'll be heading to Naples tomorrow to visit my grandma and my cousin's also in town. So I'm really excited to see both of them. And I just want to get all of my work done today instead of later on this week. So some editing to take care of and then a couple of errands that I'd like to run later. So I'm going to get ready for my day in a little bit, make some breakfast and everything. <laughs> to Costco, got out of my pajamas, and pulled myself together for the day. I didn't even get around to doing my skincare until like 2.30 today. That's how you know it's like one of those lazy type of Mondays. Well, it's not really lazy because I've just been sitting at my computer getting so much editing and work done, which feels really good, but like I did not leave my kitchen table from the second I sat down and ate breakfast until like just now. So feels good to get out of my apartment, but I'm going to run in and grab a couple things at Costco and then... I changed into a workout outfit because I plan on hitting my apartment gym after this and getting a quick little workout in. But yeah, just a few things I need to grab from Costco and not like a whole grocery shop or something. I mainly come here just because I need to fill up my car with gas. You have to try this smoothie it's so good it reminds me of the flavor of a blueberry muffin and it actually tastes like dessert like i always look forward to this as like a little midday pick me up or a snack it's so yummy I just made myself some peppermint tea. I got a face mask on my skin. I also finished packing because I'm gonna head to my grandma's around 11 tomorrow. And I just wanted to get all that out of the way. So it's like one less thing that I have to worry about tomorrow. And I'm gonna get a good night's sleep tonight. I just took some NyQuil because I'm not feeling too great. And everyone's like getting sick right now. And within the last like week and a half, I've definitely been feeling the early onset symptoms of a cold. So I'm trying to do anything and everything to not get to that point because when I do get a cold, it'll last me like a month to a month and a half and it's just 
the worst feeling and I just feel so tired and I'm so short of breath every single time. So I definitely want to get like a good night's sleep tonight and that night quill will knock me out. So I'm going to head to bed and wrap up the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye guys.